Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Fantastic Pins where we love to talk about Disney pins and Disney things. Today I bought a mystery bag from JD's Collectibles and I wanted to open it with you guys. So let's dive into it. So JD Collectibles is a Instagram seller that I found well, I found him on Instagram, but he actually has a website where he sells his pins and I saw that he had different price point mystery bags and so I thought it would be fun to see what we would get. And so I got the lowest price point mystery bag, which is $100 and we're supposed to be guaranteed, I think at least 10 to $15 more than what we pay for. So I did slice it open, but I have no idea what pins are inside. So we're gonna see them together. All right, so it looks like we do have three pins. I can already recognize some of them, but I'm very excited. There's one pin in here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it and share it with you guys. The first pin we have here is a Walt Disney Imagineering pin. These are the anniversary film strips, and this one is for the Dumbo anniversary. Um, it's an 80th anniversary for Dumbo. I'm not a Dumbo collector, but this is a nice pin to have. It's a limited edition of 250. So we're gonna go see the value of that after we open up the rest of the mystery bag. Okay, so the first one here is from Disney Studio Store Hollywood and this is exclusive to the Hollywood area. They, these ones released online, I believe. So this one is of Isabella. I do have this pin, unfortunately. So this is gonna go straight to my traders, but depending on its trade value, definitely make a nice little difference in our blind bag here and then this last pin we have is windows of wait windows of evil but it's aladdin i thought aladdin was magic interesting um but this is of aladdin and abu um these ones are hard because I don't like buying these on resale because I don't know if they're like authentic or not because they do use a lot of soft enamel on here. And the only Windows of Magic that I own is actually the Tiana one because I was in the parks when they released the Tiana one. So I was able to buy a couple of those for myself. But yeah, this is interesting. I thought Aladdin is the Windows of Magic and evil was Jafar. So we'll definitely look into that. So these are our three pins that we got in this box or bag. Um, I'm gonna pop over onto eBay right now. Let's see if we can. Okay, so we're gonna look up the DSN Sage Encanto Isabella. So the way I look for values, this is not always the best, but it's where I kind of start. So it looks like Isabella has sold for $42. I don't see, she sold for 50 here on a bid, best offer. So I'll say Isabella's about 45. And then we'll do WDI Dumbo film strip. And then it looks like it's sold for best offer under 90, so 62 and then a 150, which is a huge gap. So I'm just gonna take the average of those two and say Dumbo's about maybe like 100. Um, yeah, so let's say Dumbo's about 100. So now we're at 100. Well, I'll just say 60. Let's say it's the lowest one. So 60 plus 45, that's already above $100. And then last but not least, we've got Windows of Magic Aladdin pin. Oh, this one's hard because I did say, see, look, he is on a magic backer card. So I'm a little confused why he's on a Windows of Evil backer card, but I feel like JD Collectibles is trustworthy. I've traded grails with him before, so I just feel like generally he's a little more trustworthy. So let's just, I'm just gonna go with 25. So we've got, let's say 60, 65, 45, that's 110 plus 25, 135. We did get above our $100 value. So I'm definitely not upset with this bag. Um, it's a pretty good deal. So even if I'm not gonna be keeping any of these pins, I definitely think it's worth the purchase price because if I am gonna trade them at the eBay values, then 
if I trade them for pins I do want of similar value, then I get my values worth. Does that make sense? So there you have it, my friends. Let me know what you think about this grab bag. And if you want to see more pin grab bags in the future, um, I kind of enjoy doing this. So if you like this content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the bell icon so you'll know next time we post. And until then, my friends, have a fantastic day.